There's a little bit of gamesmanship going on there just to make sure that who can be the first porker out on track. As we see, Son of Spawn Dad has got his first lap in. Kilroy, 1.9 off the pace. Urban Ghost with a 204.130 uh, leading the way for the BMWs. Son of Spawn, four tenths further behind him. Then it's Harvey. Harvey Mayo Editions leading into what will be a 45-minute race with mandatory pit stops. And we've got the Dirty Dozen watching us on Twitch. Big hello to you. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're watching right around the world. And as soon as we said 147s, Bob, a 147.86 sees Wilco on there provisional pole here. position with plenty of time in his pocket, but it's going to get tighter than that. Are those some clouds I see, Bob? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get any rain tonight. Has everyone managed to get around? I think they're all going to get around for another run here. Yeah, oh, so we Figo. should do. Carry on, Bob. I just had a bit of a moment there. Oh, um, there we go. There's, yeah, there's a few movements there. So Figo has gone within half a second. The boss has jumped up into third. So and... out of nowhere... The boss is up in the podium positions across the line. Good vibes coming across the line now. Thank you, Bob. He doesn't improve, I don't think. 1.7 off of pole. The boss, what can he do? The boss, what can he do? That is the end. He can't do much. He stays P3, I think, Bob, to end the session. Not a bad effort, though. So, yeah, it's it's not quite as close as I thought it was going to be. That, um, you know, like the top five is spread by 1.3 seconds. But, you know, it hit the 47s like we predicted. Um, let's see what happens in the race. So we are go almost. Green light. Green light, give it all you can. Go, go, go. Wilco leads away, but it looks like Figo's got a better start than him. Rex slotting in behind Figo, the boss, and Escalator. Gee, that rolled off the tongue with the greatest of ease. How good's that? Thank you for uh, fixing that one up, Bob. But Wilco leads. Listen to the sound. Zoom, 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 zoom. And here on lap one, 45 minute race, mandatory pit stop. Wilco leads, Figo second. And the boss, the boss, I think, is being jumped by Sexy Rexy. Yibbida yibbida. The King of Spain is looking down uh, the back of Whippet Snack. With sorts of action happening everywhere here, Bob, halfway through the opening lap. And boy, this uh, leaderboard, you can see the first of the BMW class. Let's not forget about these boys. Follow the leader at the moment, Urban Ghost leading Son of Spawn. Then it's Mayo. Nobby Nuts, beautiful livery on that one. Followed by Kilroy, everybody's favourite Kraut, rounding out the field at the back for the BMWs. And I've got to say, this is competitive. They're, it's sheep stations at the moment, Bob, here. Look how close it is up front for the Porsches. Harvey, I beg your pardon. We'll just flick through. There's Harvey. And off goes oh, Son of Spawn. Come. Off the track, Bob. Yeah, that gives... That's given Mayo the position. So, uh, what well, must be Mayo there in the red beamer? You can see demonstrated perfectly there. 240, 250Ks through the bus stop. And oh no, we are on board. No. Bang! Bang! Crash! And that that is it, is it? Is he back in the pits? Wow, what a time to jump on board inside the cockpit. So, repairing, and look at this. Incredible access we've got for our viewers here tonight, Bob. We are actually inside the helmet of Jason Wilkinson. That's right, looking through the eyeballs of our race leader. You can't get any closer than that to the action, except for being in the car, can you? Fantastic. Uh, as you can see, a 147.882, not quite pole position pace, and uh, it was a 147. Seven, I think, was the quickest lap last night for our other practice race. But you can see there where uh, we might jump off eyeball camera and go back to the wide shot there. We might go back because there might be a little bit happening. There we have it. So riding on board, you can see the top three in the Porsche class, of course, coming up now to Kilroy. And a good demonstration there through past the traffic. And it's very important, uh, it, it can...
it can cause sometimes. Uh, oh, was that Kilroy having a moment there? I was about it's to say, Bob. Here. This is going to be tricky. Oh, this is going to be tricky. It depends. You want to get these BMWs on a on a pretty clear straight to a bit of track, don't you? Yeah, you do. So this could compromise both of them a little bit. Let's have a look, Spawn. Here we go. No, nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, he's got. We've got Mayo. We've got Mayo in the middle of a Porsche sandwich. Yes, uh, just uh, happy with that one, I tell you. A tough crowd, but uh, look at this Figo now, right up behind Rexy Buckinghamshire. And sexy Rexy has uh, a whole lot of... And he looks like he's having a he's having a sniff at the, at the lead. He's doing more than having a sniff. He's got his nose right in it. And you can see there, look how close it is. Oh, Urban Ghost, I think you... You got a feel for these BMW boys, don't you, Bob? The speed of those Porsches is incredible, and uh, they they can't just evaporate, can they? Here on the circuit, or off the circuit, or off the track. But I've got to say that is not going to do his race any good at all. Nine laps completed, and look at the battle at the front. Jason, oh Figo, Figo down the inside of Sexy Rexy. Is he going to get the job done at the moment? They're side by side. Sexy Rexy off the track, onto the grass. As everyone's favourite Spaniard coming through behind them, but that is not for position, of course. Albert well down the field. He has made that pit stop. Mandatory pit stop tonight. Of course, here at Watkins Glen, part of the USA DLC. Wilco leads 46. Sexy Rexy. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. It's terrible. It's terrible. Look at that. He's got a penalty as well has he? he tried to make that pit stop yes, early so that's from the pits. yeah well and then there were two is that gonna uh, is that gonna take him out of the equation i reckon it might here with 25 minutes to go what's he gonna do now the boss the boss might be uh, might be in the front uh, front row seats front row tickets to that uh, final podium position but we'll wait and see 92 25 just confirming stop and go penalty 30 seconds for speeding in the pit lane or was that another so, yeah so whip attack and he won wipes himself out on the wall on pit exit west tracks fantastic stuff and i've got to say wilco still got that fastest lap albert behind him not for position though like we said figo 4.2 seconds behind so him can you see much so that changing is closing, that is closing up that gap it, figo i believe it was at four seconds the gap between those two cars so he's not home yet 3.1 seconds what's that gap 2.9 seconds, I think, to Wilco, so it's steady. The BM's Mayo is within two seconds again. Within two seconds, not quite DRS range at the moment, but we'll have a look there, Mayo. Uh, yellow flags out for somebody. I'm not sure who it is. Is it... That's Rex. Rex, I think, who's uh, had another issue. We might see what's going on with Rex. I think it's coming down. It is not over until the fat lady sings... Ooh! But not do that too much. My daughter is uh, is asleep here. It's uh, it's getting late here in the eastern states, but this race not over by any stretch with two and a bit minutes to go. Right. So yeah, the BMs have uh, changed how this race is going. So coming towards the tail end of the race, Wilco and Figo uh, coming up to lap Urban and Mayo, and that is where it's all squashed up again 45 minutes of racing 24 laps gone and it all comes down to the last couple of kilometers here and can you believe it look what we have up ahead knobby nuts racing is the next that wilco and figo will be passing it all depends on where they catch him and it's looking like it's going to be at the bus stop oh this is going to be so tense they're catching they're going to have a little nibble on Nobby Nuts here at the moment. Wilco is going to have to earn every bit of this win here tonight in the multi-class social race for KRL. Where else would you want to be on Thursday night here? Live and exclusive on Twitch. Is that traffic getting out of the way? Yes. That is very interesting. It's down to a couple of tents. Don't forget Mayo. I haven't forgot about Mayo and Urban Ghost, but we're going to stick with this battle. But through the last few corners, it all comes down to this. Wilco, almost home. Can Figo get him? He runs a little bit wide coming out of that corner. It comes down to whether Wilco 
Can uh, can he absorb the pressure? Can, can Figo have a go? Is he going to go through the 90 degrees? Is he going to get there through the final corner? Is he going to send it? Let's wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. It all comes down to this. Through the final corner. Can he do something? He comes around. I think Wilco's got it. Yes, he does. Just. Just. Check and flag out. Three tenths after 45 <laughs> minutes of racing. Unbelievable. Awesome. What a race. What a finish. Boys, it's not over for the BMWs. Let me have a look. Yeah, Whipster, you took the words right out of my mouth. What a finish that was. And Mayo, can he have a go at Urban Ghost here? Urban Ghost hasn't put a foot wrong in this race. And I don't think he's going to out of the final corner. He wins for the BMWs. Ahead of Harvey Mayo. And then Son of Sport. I can't believe that. 0 0.320. If you don't mind for the Porsches between Wilco and Figo. And look at that, Bob. 0 0.519. 25 laps. 45 minutes. And it came down to that.